Hi guys, this is Hiro, and today I'm going to be talking about the Ketu Maha Dasha, or any Dasha of Ketu in general, okay? Now, I made a video yesterday called Rahu, like, ending expectations, or Rahu Dasha ending expectations, something like this. So with Rahu, I mainly focus on the ending, right? And it's important to understand why. So Rahu, it kind of tries to get you to chase. And if you play that game of chasing, like Rahu wants you to do, it's going to be not the greatest experience, and at the end, it's like... Um, it's going to be pretty bad, okay? Uh, now, we, and then also the reason why Rahu is a little bit bad, the ending, is because it transitioned into Jupiter, which is a naturally very spiritual planet. So it's like it's also kind of trying to prepare for that, like the ending part, as I described more in that video. Ketu is a little bit different because Ketu, one after Ketu is Venus, which is not that traditionally spiritual. And now one thing I want you to notice is that Ketu and Rahu, the two, you know, quote unquote, harshest malefics, they both transition into Jupiter and Venus, which is the two, you know, quote unquote, like, um, greatest benefics, okay? So Ketu 1, it transitions into Venus, which is not as spiritual, okay? Uh, 2 is that it's only 7 years versus 18, okay? So it's kind of a little bit... Uh, compared to Rahu, a little bit more static throughout the whole thing as far as it's not really just like a big bang at the end. Although there could be, okay? It's not, I'm not throwing it out of the question, but it's not as quote-unquote like big bang at the end uh, as Rahu is, okay? Um, uh, and then one other thing is that, so Rahu, like if you play the game of chasing, it'll try to show you like, okay, this is, it'll try to, it'll kind of try to slip that scene in your mind like, dude, like, or like if you're spiritually inclined, like, dude, you shouldn't really be doing this. With Ketu, it's like, you don't even have to do anything. It'll just try to make you detach automatically. So it's like, if you are not on that, like, super spiritual path, then it's like, it'll try to wake you up, like, all like throughout the whole Dasha, okay? Rahu, it's like, if you do what it wants you to do, you're going to suffer. But Ketu, it's like, even if you don't do anything, like... If you if you don't do what it wants you to do, you're gonna suffer. Okay, so it's like it, it has to like alert you a little bit earlier of what it of what it's kind of trying to want you to do. Okay, so what does this mean? So Ketu, it's like the planet that uh, really wants you to achieve moksha. Okay, so it's like it's kind of gonna try to do that as much as it can. Now you have to think. Okay, if you're leaving this Earth, what are you? you know, going to be the most attached to and leave behind, okay? As much as we think it's all the physical, like, you know, our cars, house, stuff like that, now that is a very big part of it. But why is our cars and stuff like that important? Because it gives our mind or our ego, like, that feeling like I'm, I'm this person who has all this money or this cars or who has this attachment to this person Something like that. It's all kind of at the mental or like the ego level of where all our suffering starts. Okay. Like Buddha has a, a, qu a quote like this. Okay. And it's very true here um, when it comes to Ketu Dasha. So what I would want you to do is if you are in a Ketu Dasha or you know someone who's in the Ketu Dasha or you are about to start one or you know someone that's about to start one. Um, I would literally, um, I would recommend you write it on a piece of paper if you're not super spiritual, but if you are, you can kind of just note these in your head. I'd go down and write down all the things that you are attached to mentally. Okay. And you really got to think, okay. I'm think, think about every single thing you're attached to. Okay. So first you want to start with, and I'd go through all like, kind of like the five koshas and write down what you're attached to in all of them. Okay. So at the physical level, what are you attached to? Maybe you have, you know, really um, nice hair, or you're tall, or, you know, uh, your physique is good, something like that. And then go, you know, deeper and deeper, and then see, see, see anything you can kind of draw up, okay? At an ego level, okay, I, um, you know, like, I'm, I'm, I'm born in, like, this community that I'm very attached to. Because, like I said, when you leave, your, your, the, the neighborhood you live in or the town you live in is not going to mean anything, okay? I mean, it does, but, like... Uh, th that attachment is not, it's, it's not going to last forever in, in this birth, okay? Write that down. And then, uh, you know, like I said, it, it, literally everything you can think of that you are literally attached to. And you might have to like, you know, experience life a little bit and then be like, oh man, I didn't realize I was, I was so attached to this, okay? Like, uh, like let's just say, um, 
you 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 like this food at this restaurant um that could also be another example okay any any relation in general it does not have to be romantic or like something like that it could just be a friendship a sibling thing uh cousin uncle aunt grandparents okay that's big um anything like this write all these down and start detaching from them uh as much as possible okay because if you don't Depending on your chart, Ketu is going to make you detach from them. And how harsh it does, how harshly it makes you detach it, uh, in different areas, that's all seen from your chart. Okay? So, um, yeah, I would, it, it's going to, you, you need to take this one a little bit more seriously, Ketu. Okay? It's a little bit more extreme than Rahu in the sense that it's, 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 it's naturally just more spiritual than Rahu. It has a more spiritual component. And um, it lasts a shorter time, okay? So you know it's going to be, it, it's 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 going to change you, okay? I would say the, the Ketu Dasha will change you a lot more than uh, your Rahu Dasha, okay? Um, and this is with any level. On third, uh, okay, obviously you have to look at your chart, okay? I'm just speaking in general, but at a general sense, Ketu can do more. Um, and also one other thing, we all know that Venus comes right after Ketu, okay? But... The reason why it comes after Ketu is that hopefully if you've learned all the lessons of Ketu, you've detached and you're able to enjoy G Venus a little bit more properly, okay? But if you still haven't learned everything that Ketu tried to teach you, um, like if you haven't detached or anything like this, um, your Venus, you're not going to have as much fun, okay? Even if stuff is going real well in life, if you're kind of uh, still very attached to like something you lost or... You're still attached to, you know, quote unquote, like what could have been. Let's just say you got fired from some really nice job or something like that. And uh, you're still attached. Let's just say things didn't work out with like a company you started or whatever. Um, it's not going to work out just kind of like with the Rahu and Jupiter situation. Okay. It's not going to work out that well. Your Jupiter is not going to be as uh, great if you're still kind of holding on. Okay. So anything that Ketu kind of just throws at you, like you had no control, uh, it was all kind of meant to be. Um, uh yeah it was all it was all kind of meant to be and um one one thing i forgot to touch on is that ketu as we know um it has a lot to do with our past life okay so you could kind of use some of the things um i'm gonna make another video on like past life stuff uh later but um try try to see if you run a ketu period uh if you can kind of get in touch with um some stuff like that, right? Literally, they they say, and I agree with completely that Ketu is the stuff that you've accomplished in the past life, but that you are detaching from in this life. Now, actually, now that I think about it, it's kind of a half truth, okay? Because when you think of that traditionally, you think of okay, everything that Ketu provides to me, I'm good at, but I'm going to detach from. But sometimes Ketu might have to use those skills to kind of. Um, Fulfill some kind of karma, okay? But most likely, I wouldn't get attached to anything that Ketu provides you, okay? Um, like I said, when it comes to past life stuff, I'll, I'll, I'll touch on that later, okay? Um, but yeah, Ketu, it, it'll, it'll throw you a lot of harsher things. Why? Because Ra Rahu, it'll throw you... It'll, it'll, it'll throw you things that'll kind of just be like, hey, look, you tried chasing this and it brought a lot of frustration, okay? Ketu, to an extent... Um, like I said, if you're if you're not on that spiritual path, it'll do whatever to get you on it. Okay, so it'll make it'll kind of th throw things at you. Um, Ketu also it, it, it it's very sudden. Okay, so it doesn't give a lot of warning. So if it does give any warning about anything, you you get you're in running your Ketu and you kind of getting this thought like maybe maybe I should stop doing this or start doing that or whatever. I would strong and you know it's kind of like spiritually supportive. I would very 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 strongly. Start doing those things or stop doing those things. Whatever it's coming in your head. Because if you don't, it will teach you most likely that it's less than however it wants. Okay. And you don't want to test it. Okay. Rahu and Ketu, if you if you're doing what you're supposed to be doing during those times, it's it's not gonna be as bad. Okay. Um, it's just trying to get you to do whatever it wants. But if you do that, um I'm talking about Ketu, like if you do that, you'll be okay you'll, for for a little bit. Obviously, some stuff might happen, but because you're detached, it's not going to be as suffering, okay? But if you don't do that, it'll teach you a lot harder than like 
any other planet, okay? For example, Saturn gives a lot of pain, right? But even if you don't kind of learn immediately, it'll kind of just make the pain more and more and more, okay? Because Saturn's a lot longer. Gethu's not like that. It'll give you a little gist, and, and and Saturn at the end, it won't, might sometimes, a lot of times, it won't, in a general sense, compared to Gethu, it won't cause a complete disaster, even after all that time. Gethu will. It's like, it'll give you a little warning, and then it's like, okay, you know what? Like, you, your time's up, okay? Like, you gotta learn this thing, okay? Um, with, with Rahu, that, that, that explosion can come, but because it's a lot longer, they, they kind of pile up and just, it happens all at the end, like I kind of explained in my Rahu video, okay? But Ketu, like I said, it's a lot shorter time, and because Venus is not as spiritual, um, and just because of the nature of kind of quote unquote like getting someone to become more spiritual or chase enlightenment it takes a little bit it's a little bit more gradual so those skate through effects it won't just come all at the end like compared to how it might with raku okay it'll it'll come in spurts but when it comes it'll it'll come like without with 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 minimal warning okay so like it, it'll just it'll just be like 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 blimps here and there throughout the throughout your Ketu dasha um and yeah, like I said, it'll just, it, 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 it'll, it'll be spread out throughout the Mahadasha, but it'll be sudden, like it'll still happen suddenly throughout, okay? And like I said, if you get any warning, and this is with Ketu or Rahu, okay? If you get any warning that you should do something or that you should not do something, uh, actually more with Ketu than Rahu, because Rahu can kind of mess with your head. Rahu, you just kind of want to follow a more traditional spiritual, uh, like, spiritual slash religious path but Ketu is really trying to get you to wake up spiritually to uh achieve enlightenment okay if there's some voice in your head that Ketu is telling you do not do this or do do this I would strongly follow that and if you don't um you have a very strong chance of uh paying the price uh at any given moment okay when it does it you have to look at your chart and stuff but it, it's very unpredictable as it is, okay? Um, so that's all I have to say on K2. If you have any questions or comments, let me know. And until next time, talk to you guys later. Thank you.